Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Shitaj aka The Rustic Wanderer and you're watching another episode of the Portugal Travel Series. So as I mentioned in the previous episode, today's idea is to go and explore the capital of Madeira, which is Funchal. But I'm having breakfast by the pool on the one of the lounge chairs, uh, enjoying a nice sunshine as well. And in the Atlantic Ocean, there are some cruise ships today. Maybe I can get a closer look when I get to Funchal area. But yeah, it's going to be a nice day today for breakfast. I'm having something very simple. So it's just the um, burger leftover from yesterday, mini Oreos, banana and some milk. And that should do it. And for lunch, I'm going to eat in the Funchal city center. So let's see some traditional Portuguese cuisine, perhaps, or something else that looks interesting. But yeah, uh, finish up lunch, uh, breakfast quickly and then head out for exploring. Done with breakfast. Oh, the sun is really bright and strong now, finally. Yesterday evening got a little bit chilly, so I was wondering how the weather is going to be. But now it's very kind of warm and actually hot, not really warm. And my kitty friend is back. She's sunbathing too. Look at her rest. So we're gonna let her rest and we're gonna head out. Kinda starting to feel lazy <laughs> with the sunshine and this lounge chair. No, but we are gonna go out and explore. Hmm. All the clouds have cleared and I guess you can hear some church bells. That's the small church behind the house, but yeah, the city is looking better with the sunshine. Let's try to get closer. Looks like they also have banana trees here because of the nice tropical climate. That's really cool. So you can see the streets are so narrow. I don't know if you can tell the incline, but it almost feels like 70 degree uphill. So going down is okay. Um, going up, I think I'm definitely gonna rely on a bus. So I'm really close to the the marina and the city center of Funchal there you can see the cruise ship and I'm getting closer but just on the way I saw this fortress of Sao Zoao Baptista do Pico so this uh, fortress entrance that I showed you so the entrance to this is free and I got a brochure so just going to check it out it's right here looks like it was of strategic influence uh, for the Funchal city so going to go learn more about it It was a pretty cool little fortress, uh, never appeared on the places to visit or things to do kind of research that I was doing from Funchal Madeira. But uh, it's nice, you could spend about half an hour or so. Uh, it was a part of a defense system that protected the city of Funchal against the pirates and the other invaders that kept coming. Uh, overall also has a really beautiful view over the Bay of Funchal, so definitely worth a visit. Anyways, uh, time to continue to the city center and explore the city. <laughs> Look at the spot this cat chose to chill on the rooftop of a car 
right by the fortress entrance. <laughs> Having fun kitty cat. Mountain kitty I suppose. Went to a souvenir shop, found a cool magnet, now headed to the harbor, gonna explore around and try to find the old town. So for the football fans, you guys would have already recognized that was Cristiano Ronaldo CR7. And for those of you who don't know, he's uh, one of the most famous and most established uh, football soccer players. And behind me is the CR7 Museum. Since he's from this island, so it makes sense that there is a lot dedicated to him. Even the airport is named after him. So, not going inside the museum, but just walked past uh, the museum and his statue, so I thought of capturing it. And then there is people enjoying uh, surfing and water sports in the Atlantic Ocean. That's the cruise ship I saw from up in the, on the fortress. So, I'm gonna continue onwards to get to the old town and start exploring the city of Funchal. <laughs> Tried to ask a random stranger to help me take a picture with that Madeira sign. I hope the picture has turned out good. But yeah, it's, uh, the sun is on the other side. Anyways, that means I am in the old town. Soon I can find the places to see. Okay, so this green building behind me is the entrance to the cable car. So the way the cable car works here is you take one cable car to go up to Monte and then there is the Monte Palace Garden so you could explore that and then you take another cable car to go further up to the Botanical Gardens. So let's try and explore how it works here, what are the charges, any combo ticket offers etc and then head up to Monte. So just came out from the first cable car, saw the, ma the garden entrance, the ticket was like 12.50 to be inside, <laughs> didn't feel worth it. I mean, garden shore looks beautiful, but I've been in Japan for three years, so there's no surprise there, there's like a bunch of things inside. 
Japanese garden included so I didn't go in uh, just walking around just saw the traditional toboggans which is made from wicker and two men dressed in white uniform will pull you first and then try and push you down the slope so you get to the uh, starting point so you don't necessarily need to take the cable car all the way back you can use the traditional toboggan way to go down and just came across this nice looking church so we're gonna go inside take a quick look and then head over to the second cable car go to the other garden which is i think smaller and original so i'm gonna spend time there resting and then go down to the city center was a nice church of Lady of Mont with really beautiful views from up there. I was just resting for a bit after I saw the church. Um, also was sitting inside for a bit, it was very peaceful. Now going to the cable car, the second cable car to try and see what the other garden looks like. And on the first cable car I met this really nice uh, couple. The lady was from India, um, the guy was from London. I settled in London so we were talking all about expat life and fun conversations all the way up. headed to the botanical garden this time i got a round trip ticket so the cable car itself cost 1175 round trip and then the entry to the garden is another six euros so this is a special cable car to go there i think this one goes down and then comes back up so let's see the botanical garden oh yeah there's the white cable car going all the way down must be really amazing views Approaching the botanical gardens now, uh, that cable car ride was quite something. It goes like very steep downhill and then comes up. Uh, so if you are afraid of heights, be very careful when you're taking that one. this uh, botanical gardens not many people here I think majority of the tourists stopped at the Mont Palace gardens which I went to before with the first cable car um, this is very economical to explore this and that costed twice as much anyways so and this is more closer to the Atlantic Ocean the views are really nice if it's just about you know spending time with nature getting to know the flora and fauna from different parts of the world might as well save up a little bit and I'm trying to get to this uh, central area which is which looks very beautiful in the pictures so let me try and see if I can get there somehow there so I'll try to go get down there to take a better shot looks really beautiful and right there is the Atlantic Ocean
guys I came to the sprinkler area it's a nice hot day the mist is helping plants cool down and also me so just resting here for a little bit and then we'll continue walking and exploring the rest of the park it's quite big actually even for six euros I thought it's just gonna finish in a couple of minutes actually it's it's really big Behind me the A-frame houses, these are like very traditional Madiran houses, about 200 plus years old. Um, this one's closed just here as a sample. But I'm going to visit this northern town of Santana at some point where I can get to go inside and explore it from the inside. So we'll explore more some other day. But this is how the traditional houses used to look like in Madeira. Really cool, right? Thatch roofs, A-frames. spent a couple of hours actually here um, now it's 3 p.m. time to head to the city center grab some lunch and then continue exploring there cable car now walking down uh, decided to take the same route as the toboggan so just out of curiosity to try and see where they finish probably somewhere in the center on the way down uh, grandma just stopped me and she asked uh, in Portuguese are you going to the center I said yes she just with the sign language I understood that she said you're gonna have a left turn don't go there keep heading straight and straight down the Funchal city center oh, that was so cool like the people here are, are really friendly despite the language barriers they try and help that's uh, I'm, that's something I'm really loving about this place so I'm guessing this is the junction that's where the toboggan goes so the grandma told me to skip that keep heading straight all the way down you get to the center so I guessing I'm guessing this is my route <laughs> not really following any maps or anything just uh, using the big cruise ship that I saw in the morning as a sort of reference and heading down look at the teeny tiny streets that I'm following and right there I'm able to see the marina this is the cruise ship this doesn't look like much of a path so probably gonna take a slight detour from there but yeah interesting paths to get down quite steep my quads are starting to feel it but have to continue to get to the city center fun find this is the farmers market there's fruits vegetables fishes poultry uh, butcher shops all sort of things imaginable directly sourced from the farmers so the farmers are here um, probably reasonable price I didn't buy much because I'm gonna be running around all the time so no point but also had a nice meal here uh, all in all costed 10 euros for all of that I'm gonna swing by a gelato shop real quick and then I close this vlog here and in the next vlog as always starting to venture out outside the capital area of Funchal to explore the other parts of Madeira. Gelato first and then I'll close the vlog. <laughs>